Hi, this week at the Lakeshore Museum Center, it's our third grade Michigan History Week, and that means that we're talking about the fur trade. And for the museum, our station this week has been talking about changes in technology for Native Americans during this time period. And so we like to do some live demonstrations of one of which is fire starting. So traditionally, Native Americans would have used wood and a friction method to start their fire, but once the fur traders started coming, they were trading for things like steel strikers. And so this was the European method of starting the fire. Now the other bit of a steel striker is of course your piece of flint. And when I select my pieces of flint for fire starting, I wanna make sure that I've got a piece with a nice sharp edge to it because the science behind this is really pretty neat. When you strike your flint on your steel striker, you're actually scraping away the metal on the striker. Um, seems kind of hard to believe, but the flint is actually harder than the steel. And so it actually peels away tiny little pieces of that metal and once that metal reaches the air it actually oxidizes very quickly and that actually creates enough heat to create a little spark or a little ember and so what the fur traders traditionally would do is they would build a nest out of natural materials here i'm using jute twine and then we use a little bit of steel wool here uh, traditionally they would have used something called char cloth which would have been a a kind of a burnt fabric. Uh, you could also find other natural things that would burn really easily. And then what you do is you put your striker nice and close to your material and then I'm just gonna hit quickly and kind of precisely along the edge of my striker creating those sparks and hopefully catching them in the right spot to light it. And just like that you could have a fire going. So you can see this technology would make it a lot quicker to start fires rather than rubbing sticks together.